Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about new skincare products that I've tried from Trilogy. So if you don't know, Trilogy, well, I have been trying Trilogy products for quite a while now. The company has been sending me a couple of items, I think previously lah. Now, I think it's because of a new PR person, so they don't send me as much stuff anymore. Unless I ask for, but generally I don't ask for products unless I really, really want something. Yeah, but I think they this one is pretty new. The whole vitamin C line one is pretty new under Trilogy. Specifically, the vitamin C booster treatment. I think I saw on their website that they were promoting this vitamin C kind of thing i believe it's for like the summer kind of uh i guess season because i've realized uh since march april april specifically a lot of vitamin c products are coming out or products with uh, vitamin c infused kind of uh, ingredient is really popping out everywhere and i'm generally not a vitamin c kind of fan i think if you have heard me in my mood kind of video i spoke about like their products that i don't really enjoy that has vitamin c in them or or focuses on vitamin c as well and i generally just don't enjoy it because vitamin c in general just doesn't work for my skin like my skin doesn't really agree with vitamin c although i am hoping that i was actually sorry i was hoping that this these product will actually be good for my skin or that uh, these vitamin C products will be better for my skin because what I know is that uh, Trilogy is more on the natural side or they claim to be uh, natural and all good for the skin so generally I don't really have an issue with Trilogy products and uh, I, I personally do like some of the Trilogy products I have used some of their products that I absolutely absolutely love and you know that is highly recommended and stuff like that but not these products though unfortunately they don't <laughs> my skin just doesn't like them for some reason it's just it's just the vitamin c like, trust me i think it's not a brand it is definitely just a vitamin c i think they are okay products i don't think they are bad products it's just that it doesn't work that well for my skin. Let's start with the Trilogy Vitamin C Booster Treatment first. This one has fresh activation. I think if you see in this clip in the beginning, they separated the this kind of tube and then on top of it, there's like a cap with like the vitamin C that's being encapsulated inside the um, cap itself. So you need to push down. It was pretty hard to push down. Okay, I remember. I remember very well when I was trying to activate this um, vitamin C booster. I had to push down the top of the cap so that the powder or other liquid, like the vitamin C liquid will go down and mix into the other ingredients that are bottom there so that's like fresh activation basically that's what it meant okay it says that a freshly activated brightening booster with vitamin c hyaluronic acid and daisy okay and then remove the cap and replace it with the pipette which is this one and then apply two to three drops to clean face neck and decolletage morning and night for maximum benefits use it within two weeks of activation i think i've stopped using it after two weeks because i kind of feel like this it's not necessary because i feel like it's not doing much for my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin, but I think is that if my skin is a little bit more sensitive, just like most vitamin C products, okay, it's not just this product. I realized that if my skin is that day, that particular day, it's a little bit more on the sensitive side, like after I do facial, so it's a little bit thinner, um, it needs more hydration and moisture. Uh, this is definitely not. I cannot use this because it does sting my skin a little bit especially around my nose area and some parts of my face i do feel sometimes it gets a little bit itchy um but it's not the product itself it's just my skin doesn't like vitamin c in general okay when you pump it out it is super lightweight and it smells like most trilogy products i don't think it smells in particular like citrus or orange or anything the only vitamin c product that i feel that it doesn't smell anything like vitamin c it smells very much like most trilogy products if you have smelled any trilogy products it smells exactly like that okay yeah it's a very liquidy product it looks like pee water like very concentrated pee water it feels almost like water but it absorbs very 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 quickly and uh, it doesn't leave anything on the skin. It doesn't feel like it leaves any sort of stickiness or even residue on the skin. It really just absorbs 
directly into skin which is great for people with oily skin type or even normal skin type and i do agree that most booster treatments should be like that because it's not meant to be heavy and thick on the face okay i just stopped using it after two weeks and i can't even finish using it <laughs> i don't use it day and night because i feel like it will be a bit too much for my skin so i think i only use it during the night time yeah so maybe that's why i still have quite a bit and i don't use a lot probably i use about three drops and then I apply it all over my face it's not that you cannot use it after two weeks you can I think after this I will probably just use it to apply all over my arms because I feel that's where I need vitamin C coverage because uh, I'm already seeing a little bit of uh, pigmentation around my arms and that's that frightens me sometimes I mean these are the parts where I sometimes don't use or I forgot to use sunscreen my face is most of the time being protected by sunscreen so that's no problem that that side though or this this area there's no problem basically it's just my arms I am a little bit more of a forgetful side because you generally don't I don't know it's not like a habit yet so i think if anything i would definitely finish using this off on my arms so that is the booster treatment um i think if you are looking for a like you know vitamin c actually works for your skin feel free to try this out because they are natural and fresh activation and i think it shouldn't be bad it should be pretty good actually let's move on and talk about the trilogy vitamin c moisturizing lotion now okay i i didn't really have much hope for the booster treatment actually but i do have actually quite a um, high hope for the moisturizing lotion previously i've tried trilogy lotion before and i absolutely love them and they are amazing for my skin this one it comes with vitamin c rosehip and daisy so they have daisy and vitamin c as well the only difference is that it, this one has rosehip in it this one it says to uh, provide light hydration lotion to brighten the face and it has antioxidant vitamin c promotes a brighter and even looking skin tone rosehip hydrates while daisy extract helps to improve the appearance of pigmentation giving that lift from a within look okay refreshing mandarin awaken the senses apply to clean face basically like a moisturizer okay you can use this day or night because it doesn't have a particular like a spf in it or something like that so you can use it day at night i mean if you want to ask me whether is it night cream or a day cream whether can you use this day at night just as long as that moisturizer doesn't have a you know a specific spf something you know for you to block the sun one then that is pretty much uh day and night cream also they can be used either ways okay but if they have spf in them then yeah you you should just keep it for daytime use only okay don't don't use it when you go to sleep because um it might clog your pores uh even though like they say it's like the best quality of spf just i mean it's not necessary lah okay it's not necessary for you to use it you know when you go to sleep so this one does it smell of vitamin i don't remember again i kind of stopped using this also after two weeks um mm, yeah it says it has like the mandarin kind of mandarin oranges kind of scent to it not really it still smells like trilogy to me <laughs> most tri i don't know this just has that very basic kind of trilogy kind of scent it doesn't have much of that vitamin c kind of scent if you're looking for the mandarin orange kind of scent then unfortunate for you because this doesn't have that although it says it might have but it doesn't um not strong at all or my maybe my nose has problem but i cannot really smell any of the mandarin oranges that's inside here as i mentioned earlier on i have really high hopes for this one because you know i was really hoping to be able to find a vitamin c skincare product that i can actually use on my face this is yes a super super thick cream this is a heavy basic for mature skin type kind of uh, lotion um it's the thick heavy type of cream most dry skin people will generally love and like and usually will be very excited about and people like me i generally do like this kind of cream this kind of consistency of cream but i cannot use too much of this it does leave that kind of residue on the skin that layer on the face where it is like hydration and moisturization that's on the face itself other than just inside it's not sticky it's just that it has that kind of grease to it it's not super oily as well it's just like a lotion grease on your fingers or on your hands basically and on your face this is like one of the product where i, mean, I put it on first i'm like oh my gosh i love it oh it feels so good and oh my gosh i thought i finally found something that i could use but uh no after like one week or even a couple of days of trying this out the cream i feel like it's a little bit too thick for me i feel like this one has that kind of uh 
thickness where when I wake up, it just feels like my skin cannot breathe kind of thing. It feels like it's not very breathable kind of cream. I don't know, I don't really enjoy it, but I think people with like more mature skin type, one will, will actually do enjoy this. So if you are like 20 something, late 20s, almost 30, still pretty much young, um, it's actually not necessary to use this because I do feel like for me, it is a little bit too thick for me. It's weird. It's not clogging my pores or anything. It's just, I don't know, there's just some cream that does that, make you feel like it's very heavy on your face. Yeah, that's, this is one of those creams, which is very unfortunate, okay? I really thought I would like this. Whether or not it stings my skin, it doesn't irritate my skin. Again, just like the treatment booster, it doesn't irritate my skin or anything. It does still sting my skin a little bit, not too much, not as much as the treatment booster itself, only on those sensitive days. But other than that, it's okay on my skin. It feels fine other than the whole thickness of, um, of the cream itself, okay? I cannot really tell you whether or not it works. Because for my skin, I don't like it and I don't see much of a difference when it comes to vitamin C products. That is just me. I can tell you if uh, my skin is super well hydrated or not, but not with this product because vitamin C products generally don't hydrate well. I cannot really 100% recommend this to you, but if you are one of those people that had great success with vitamin C skincare products, then yeah, I would recommend you to try this out because they are natural and they are from New Zealand and they are Trilogy products that I pretty much do like the brand itself and I do trust the brand. It's just unfortunate I cannot use this vitamin C products. If you want to find out more about this uh, product, how much it is and stuff like that, you can check it out in the description box below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe!